Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And good news, it, it looks like Amber Heard might be coming to the MCU. Oh, yay. Now, this is a rumor, rumor, that Amber Heard is uh, being looked at for the part of Sue Storm in the Fantastic Four. I just, I don't know. I mean, I, I have no words. It's like the double standard is so off the charts. You know, they're both, there's accusations against that, against that nothing was proven, but she gets treated one way and he gets treated another. Well, basically she gets off, she gets off scot-free. Her career continues to uh, be unaffected basically by all the drama regarding the really messy split and the Johnny Depp lawsuit. Um, and it does look like she might even come to the MCU. She might even get her own standalone Mara film. So we're going to talk about that before we get into it. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, we're over 150,000 subs. And look at these cute little pins. You're going to push it again? I am. Okay, there's cute little pins. They're Cause, available pre-order. Because not everybody watches every video. So look, we got geeky, this is brushable hair. And I got a big pencil. And I'm wearing red boots right now because I wear I wear red shoes. It's like a it's like something I do. Yeah, and we've also got uh, speaking of red, we've got some holiday stuff here. in different colors. Different colors. A happy fist of this, the the official uh, holiday of Clownfish TV. You can get fisted for the holidays. You know, there we go. Now unilaterally you decided that was our official holiday. By no, the way. I, I did I? <laughs> yes. I thought we took a vote. We didn't take a vote. You took a vote with yourself, and you have two hands, so they've got two votes. <laughs> yeah, I <had> two fists <laughs> up. Fist bump. That's right. Uh, anyway, it was a running joke on the live streams, but uh, check it out. Shopclownfish.com. I will put the link in the description. Let's talk about this. Amber Heard uh, to Marvel rumored rumored for Fantastic Four. Uh, so there are rumors that are offering uh, Amber Heard could be jumping ship to Marvel as it's claimed the actress wants to play Sue Storm in the Fantastic Four. According to scooper Daniel RPK, uh, Amber Heard wants the role of Sue Storm at Marvel Studios, who's also known as the Invisible Woman. Well, at least she'd be invisible. I was going to say, at least you don't have to see her. Hashtag not my invisible well, woman. Well, I'm just mad that she has <laughs> she's playing Mara, a redhead, and we can't even get a real actress that's a redhead. You know, we have enough trouble with redheads getting to stay redheads, and then when you have a part for a redhead, you take it and you give it to somebody who's not a redhead. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, not, hashtag not my redhead representation. <laughs> but this is coming from Cosmic Book News. Again, marked as a rumor, just so you know. We're not saying it's going to happen. It's... It's It would not surprise me at all. Oh, it, totally would happen. It would not surprise me at all. Uh, the rumor is interesting as it's been claimed that due to the Johnny Depp controversy, Heard will have a massively reduced role in Aquaman 2. That's not what we're hearing from other other uh, corners. Other people mm -hmm. are saying that she could actually get a Mara solo film. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants No one's going to watch that anyway. She was boring as hell. Nobody wants that. Um, so much so that the role of Mara is basically getting replaced by another female actor. I don't think that's going to happen. I think they're going to they're going to be like, oh, okay, it's uh, it's safe to bring her on, even though she supposedly did all these horrible things. Um, it's fine now because we can't we can't take roles away from her because that's a bad look. Right, because she's got it's boobs. a bad look because she's got boobs. Uh, it's uh, interesting that while Emily Blunt happens to be the top choice amongst fans to play uh, Sue Storm, Fantastic Four, along with her husband, John Krasinski, which I actually think that would, they both would work. I think they would work, yes. Uh, the pair are actually rumored for Doctor uh, Doctor Strange 2 as Black Widow and Captain America. They're talking that they might actually cast other people as the Avengers in the multiverse movie and including some people that tried out for the roles and didn't mm. get like Tom Cruise. That's and, kind of neat, actually. Like what could have been, I think that's actually, that's actually a cute idea, actually. I, I kinda like that. Yeah, so that's that's actually kind of cool. But yeah, I don't uh, look, there's um a lot of talk about how they're gonna bring the Fantastic Four into the MCU. I think they're gonna completely uh completely screw it up. I mean, it's not hard to get the Fantastic Four right, but for some reason, they can't get the Fantastic right. Four right. And the MCU, you know, they, it seems like with these other characters that, uh, you know, were under Fox's stewardship, that they're going out of their way to make them as different as possible when they bring them to the MCU. We saw it with Spider-Man. They made sure that when they brought Spider-Man to the MCU, he was very, very different. 
uh, from previous Spider-Mans. In some ways, I think he's closer to the comic book, but then they took a lot of liberties, you know, the Aunt May and, and all that. And they're talking, they're going to take all kinds of liberties with the Fantastic Four. Oh, I'm sure they're going to. Um, I have no doubt. Yeah, which I, I think is terrible. Because uh, Fantastic Four was the origin of the Marvel Universe, the Marvel comic book universe. And um, the Fantastic Four is one of the highest selling books for years. Right, but when, you're, you, when you say that, though, you're looking at it as somebody who is a comics fan. But let's be honest here, the majority of people who watch these films are comics fans. Yeah. So to them, it doesn't really matter. They just know it from the movies. Well, they're they're saying that they think the uh, the Fantastic Four, since they were pretty much a product of their time, very mm -hmm. '60s, that they maybe got trapped back in the past in the '60s, and they could retroactively explain them as being, you know, that 60s would actually be people. fun. It'd be interesting. It was like the blast from the past. Maybe they got yeah, stuck that in the, would be kind of in the cool. Fallout shelter that they were they were someplace else, and they come back. That'd be kind of interesting. Yeah, because then they could still, you know, stick with the comics and be like, oh, they technically were the first superhero team. They've just been stuck. Right. Well, they did it with years. Captain America. Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of like that. I mean, that might actually work. But yeah, for some reason, they can't get them right. And, you know, and with all the faults that they had with the first two Fantastic Four movies, I actually think they kind of at least got the tone right where mm -hmm. it was kind of lighthearted and funny. And um, I didn't watch the new one, the newer one. They I did. did. I heard it was pretty. It was okay. Bad. It wasn't. I just. I, I wouldn't watch it again. I heard it was pretty bad. It, it was. I was just like there. There's some choices and some things that happened that was like it was. It was. The, I. I know why they made the choices they made, and it wasn't for. It wasn't for character and story. Um. So anyway, Amber Heard. Yeah, I don't. I'll tell you the truth. I don't think she's going to have any career repercussions at all. Even though everybody, you know, they're they're going to take some repercussions for box office numbers. People don't want her back, and it's like you know. There's there's allegations against her. There's allegations against Johnny Depp. Um, and the and the court was about you know whether it was libel against the son. It wasn't about whether or not she did what she did or he did what he mm. did. And there was plenty of evidence there that that indicates that you know well maybe there's more to this story than what we're hearing. Yeah. And you know this whole idea that she's allowed to be rewarded and continue on and Johnny Depp is not isn't really right because it seems like it's just because it's a gender issue. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. And that's what a lot of people are pointing out is it, it, it does show that um, she is being treated very, very differently mm -hmm. than than Johnny Depp, um, you know, where he's pretty much his career at this point. They don't know what's going to happen there. Now, there's there's word that uh, uh, was Jerry Bruckheimer's trying to get him back. for Pirates. Yeah, that's what I was hearing that he was trying to. And I guess he's the reason why we got the Captain Jack Sparrow we got, because when Johnny Depp wanted to act in that way, a lot of people on set were like, why are you acting like this? That, that's not how we see him. And then he Bruckheimer said, no, this is great. And kind of talked him into it. Apparently, this is the story. And that's why we got the, the, the Captain Jack we got, and it, it, which is, you know, iconic now. Mm. So it's just. I don't know. The whole thing just seems like a double standard, one giant double standard. Yeah, and that's that's the thing. If it, you know this winds up being true, if it winds up being true, I think it, Disney that would be disastrous. But they've they've made a lot of disastrous decisions. But if it winds up being true that they hire her for the MCU and they don't bring Johnny Depp back, then it shows exactly where people where right. they are right now and that's i think people know? were like okay fine if they're gonna let her back let him back if you're gonna if you're gonna take him out take her out it's like because it's, it's like they they both sound like there's a lot of shit going down in this relationship it was a toxic relationship doesn't seem very fair yeah now this uh this article is from geekosity and they said that um they have sources at warner saying that um warner brothers was able to look away from ezra miller's choking incident yeah, where I remember he, that. you know yeah. choked a woman um and uh, they're they're doing the same for her. They're not. But they were. But Warner Brothers called Johnny Depp and took and, told, and, fired and him, yeah. took him off of uh, the Fantastic Beast film. Yeah, it said Warner Brothers is not taking any of the Twitter or YouTube and petition campaigns to have her removed seriously. Oh yeah, a we already figured that. Yeah, they see it no differently than a boycott of Marvel Studios' Captain Marvel film, which proved to be ineffective as it brought over a billion. Did it though? That's the question. Ah, we'll see. There's some questionable things that went down there. It makes you wonder. So that's kind of what's going on. They, they said they believe it's artificially inflated and most likely politically motivated. They don't base their decisions on web chatter. It's artificially inflated and particularly p p politically motivated as they, they, they back a female but fire a male. I don't think they have any right to say anything's politically motivated when that's exactly what they're doing. You know, I'm sorry, but a, a million, I don't think I've ever seen a change.org petition dealing with entertainment hit a million 
signatures. I mean, it's like, because I think people are just sick of the double standard. It's like she's allowed to do whatever she wants, and even if it's crap, because, you know, she's a woman. And that's not okay. It's just not okay. Just like, I don't think it's okay. You know, I'm just like, if he did something shitty, he should be fired. If she did something shitty, she should be fired. If they're going to fire one, fire them both. Or just if you're going to keep one, keep them both. It's not that hard. Yeah, that's that's the thing, you know, but apparently she gets to keep working at Warner Brothers anyway, while Johnny Depp has been asked to pack his bags. And uh, it might be the same situation at Disney, too. So that's that's Hollywood. That's where we're at with this. So, again, it's all a rumor. We don't know what's going to happen. Well, at the end of the day, they're all just too afraid to fire a woman because they know there'll be a shit stunk they fired a woman. That's what the whole thing's about. Well, that's what, you know, they're talking about with uh, Kathleen Kennedy, too. A lot of people were like, well, Kathleen Kennedy is going to be packing her bag soon. And uh, we had WDW Pro, who is a Disney insider, say that might not be the case because the leverage she has at Lucasfilm is she is a woman. And uh, if you fire her, it looks bad. Well, what's really sad is there are a lot of women out there who are better actors, who are better, you know, producers, who are better than the people that are in there. And they never get a chance uh, because other people are in there, but they won't fire trashy people. And there's other people that could easily replace them that would be better and never get a chance to do it. Yeah. But, you know, these people should be gone because what they did was shit. I mean, I guess they just like losing money. That's all I can say. I mean, if she's innocent because there was nothing proven against her, then he's innocent because there really was nothing proven against him. You know, if he's guilty because because of, of the evidence, then she's guilty because of the evidence. It, it's just it's that simple. It's yeah, you would think you would think, but we're talking about Hollywood and Hollywood politics, and it's not that simple. Well, this is why Hollywood's <laughs> going down the shit hole. Yeah, and exactly. They're losing money right and left. Exactly. Because the rest of the world's looking at this like, what the hell's wrong with you? Uh, a million people. You're not gonna. That's a, a lot. A Mara movie is not going to make, not going to make much money. And if oh, you want, no. if you want to destroy the Fantastic Four too, go for it, cast her in a lead, and see what happens. Well, for all their posturing about being, you know, fair and political and all that, like again, why can't you just hire a real redhead to play a redhead character? So you have to stay in your own lane, according to these companies. You're only allowed; they have to have more diversity, and they have to have people that only represent the people that they are. Why the hell will they have her dye her hair red? Why not have real redhead representation? Why is the rep representation I get her? There you go, geeky for Mara. I don't want to say be, I'm be, I won't be Mara, but you know I don't look anything like Mara. But the point is, I'm at least a real redhead, and there are a lot of actresses who are real redheads, and you, they talk out of both sides of their mouth. That's what I think is hilarious. All right, so we gonna wrap this one up. Yep. Okay, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.